Hey, 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 hey. Hey, y'all. So for those of you who might be joining or coming in just now, we're going to talk about some fun, fun things from sexual health to vaginal health to getting that belly on flat, flat. So let me wait till a few of y'all get on and we're going to get this party started, right? Uh, uh, uh. We're going to get this party started quickly, right? <laughs> hey, Tal, how you doing, girl? Glad to have you on this afternoon. So uh, let me invite my friend in one second. There we go. There's that. And um yeah, so first and foremost, I have to let y'all know um how amazing this weekend was. For those of you who don't know, we had our Shiro event, uh Shiro Zumba event. And we just wanted to have fun, you know, dress up because it's the, you know, October, Halloween time. And even if you don't celebrate Halloween, like people like to play, people like me, I like to play dress up. So that was an excuse to dress up. And basically we use like, we wanted to be diva-ish, you know, whatever makes you feel empowered, whatever makes you feel sexy, you know, things of that sort. And I was bold enough to be, um... Thank you, Tal. She said I look pretty. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I had I was bold enough to wear my Spider-Man uh outfit. Now the character is Gwen Stacy, and I don't know if many people are familiar with who she is, so I just was like Gwen Stacy, aka Spider Woman, and you know, I was like when I put that thing on, I was like, yes. And then we had some people, we had somebody come out as Shaka Khan. We had someone come out as um, Batgirl. And Miss Annette was Catwoman. It was so much fun. And then afterwards, um, after we, you know, had fun in our costumes, then we talked about, you know, some things. You know, I'm an educator at heart. You know, I love educating. I loved, um, I love helping people learn and things of that nature. So I like to make sure that I'm always pouring in a wealth of knowledge because I have so much information within me that I love to share. So, <clears throat> hey, Calvin, what's up, me? <laughs> so um, I like to make sure that I educate people because I feel like it's pointless to have all this information and keep it to myself. Why not help others? Because when I leave this earth, you know, I can't take that information with me to the grave, so I might as well share the wealth. So that's why I like to do these uh, pop-ups on Mondays, you know, to get the week started right, motivate everybody, and things of that nature. So that's what we did. We talked about um, a few things that we're going to cover today as well. We're going to dive pretty deep into it. So bring your questions. Like, I warrant questions. I warrant um, feedback, you know, um, interaction, all of that. So let me bring Annette on again. Uh, oh, there she goes. Bam. So um, I'm trying to see if she will come on here. Hey, boo. I do see you. Did you get the invite on Facebook? OK. All right, all right, all right. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. That's my jam. Money, 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 money. <laughs> it's all good, girl. We need to make sure that, you know, people can hear this video after we save it because I don't know why last time when I saved it, you know, it didn't, it didn't have volume. Oh, look at that beautiful face. Yes, honey. Yes. I'm going to do it again. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money. I got on my smart glasses because, you know, I, uh, 
I can't see after a certain age, so I gotta uh, wear yeah, my. You know what I call this? We got smart glasses, and we got yes. it called Money Monday. Yeah. Money Monday. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 question: Can you see me clearly? Mm -hmm. I do see you because I have an I echo. I do hear an echo. So, one of your volumes, I would suggest. All right, I'm like gonna... turning one of them low, so it's like not, not the echo. All right, let's see if um. <clears throat> If that helps. So I got my did that doggone thing t-shirt on. You know what I'm saying? If you work for me, y'all hear me say that a lot. You did that doggone thing. <laughs> and that's what we did this weekend. We did that doggone thing. Like if y'all didn't see the pictures, <laughs> did y'all see Miss Annette and her cat suit though? Listen, listen, let me tell you something. My my DM box, right? I got like offers for dinner and everything else, massages. I'm a, I, I know that's right. That whip more often. This is like what? I'm on that's it. All you gotta do is put on a cat suit to, to get invited to dinner. That's Listen, do. dominatrix. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> well, I was just letting everybody know about um how amazing this weekend was. And you know, we want to do, we are going, not want to, we are going to do more of that. And you know, I had an idea that, and I absolutely didn't bring it over, and I, but I could go grab it real quick. So, um, but before I go grab what I was going to grab, uh, I just wanted to let them know that we're going to be doing at least once a month these events where we're going to you know, work you guys out. We're going to dance. We're going to lift some weights. We're going to work on form. We're going to educate you guys because education is king. You know, like I was saying before you came on, I have so much knowledge to share and it's pointless to have all this knowledge if I keep it to myself because I can't take it to the grave with me. But we're here for a purpose. Absolutely. Share. Absolutely. So um, the first thing that, well, I'm going to let you talk for a little bit because I need to go grab some stuff. It's all right, girl. It's all right. They know we, they know we in our home office and we got bark barks going on. It's, it's all right. So um, go ahead and tell them a little bit about, you know, your take on detox. Mm -hmm. But I'll be right back, okay? Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. All right, so so hopefully I can't hear this echo. Hey, happy Monday. What's up, peeps? This is Annette, your wonderful, beautiful, amazing, high energy Zumba instructor, fitness coach, representative of the fabulous over 50. You know what I'm saying. But we wanted to get on here today, and I apologize for the echo trying to work that out um we want to talk about some things we get a lot of questions about our energy how we function being over 40 being over 50 um and as you know a lot has to do with self-care but we want to share with you what we do and the things we share with others that work for them so for me she wants to talk a little bit about detox. We spoke about it this weekend. And um, there's natural ways to detox. It sure is. Right. But I, look, I want to share with y'all that I came on a little late because I, de I detox once a week. Yes. And it's all natural. Yep. And when I tell you, wait, let me see. Let When your girl is <laughs> looking like, and yes. I'm telling you, it works. It does. So I was finishing up my business before we got on. I just want to share that. Oh, yeah. So let me <laughs> educate you guys about this really quickly. Um, mm -hmm. This is the Vasha Detox Tea. It is by Tava. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right? So um, basically, me personally, I take it once a week just mm -hmm. as for maintenance. Yes. When you first start it, though, if you haven't ever done a detox or you um, are, it has been a while, I suggest doing it for at least like three to seven days, four to seven days. And all you do is you take this packet here. I'm just going to tell you my regimen. So you take this packet here 
And what I do is I pour it into a, a, a coffee glass mug, a coffee mug. And I boil me some water. And I, I pour, and I, once I put the boiled water, I mix it in and I drink it. Now, if you're an extreme taste person and you're like, Ugh, like, I don't get this a lot, but I like to give all the tips possible. So for those who are like, oh my gosh, that's nasty because it really doesn't taste like anything. It's it just, it doesn't like, have much of a taste. It doesn't have a taste. It feels like you're drinking hot water. But if you feel like you, it's just completely disgusting and you want to add something to it, add a little bit of honey which is, I tried that last night and it helped to swallow it better. Or if you're vegan, a little bit of agave. Just a little bit. We're not trying to sweeten it. We're just trying to help to drink it a little easier. And I promise you, it will make life better for you. But my recommendation is hot water just because it dissolves better. And me personally, I don't like any, any cold tea anyway. So you just boil hot water, let it cool down, and drink it down. I drink it down, and as soon as I finish it, I'm drinking eight glasses of water, eight ounces of water, not eight glasses, eight ounces. And I continue to drink because what you want to make sure is that this, um, that your body is hydrated properly. Mm -hmm. Back up, and you don't drink enough water, you're gonna. And most of us are backed up. Mm -hmm. Yes, you don't want to experience any cramping of any sort. And if you do, just drink more water because what it is is your colon is trying to be emptied out, but it doesn't have any fluid to push it out. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are hydrated properly. So just a little bit on the product. Wait, can I share? Can I share? A, a, a Absolutely. Slice? Okay, so um, I I drink it just like Jaquita mentioned, but I mix it with um, or I, I put my tea bag of turmeric tea or chai tea to give it more flavor because to me it doesn't really taste like anything and i like a little bit of spice so you just add it to your regular hot tea or or what have you that's a um, great idea yeah and 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 it just you don't even taste it i just yeah. took it really late last night that's why i was still going before we got on the live but um it works i don't get any cramping because like she said i drink enough water but mm -hmm. I tell you, like, once I'm done, like, right now, I could run. That's, that's if my good knee would let me, my bad knee would let me. But energy-wise, <laughs> I'm telling you, I feel so amazing. But go ahead. Go ahead, sweetheart. Go on, go on. Oh, no, you're good. I, I appreciate you for sharing that because, uh -huh. you know, there are so many different ways that you can help, you know, make this better. I never thought about adding a tea bag. That's really a great idea. Um, mm -hmm. I just added, like, a half a teaspoon of honey. It was barely any honey. It was like right. just a little honey. honey. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because like I said, you you don't want to sweeten it. This is not to you're not drinking this for pleasure. You know what I'm saying? You're drinking it for a purpose. So basically this tea is designed to gently and effectively cleanse your body of everyday impurities and allow you to feel your best self. So a lot of us pack impurities in our gut and our gut is the center of our entire body you know what i'm saying i have a lot of women women come to me and say oh my gosh i want to lose my belly like what exercise can i do to lose my belly and really and truly you really cannot spot reduce you have to train your entire body you have to eat right like you have to do the whole nine in order for your gut to go down and i always use the phrase after in the kitchen yes what hon yes what you eat how you take care of your um digestive system all of that plays a factor in your gut and drinking this tea alone will help to get a lot of uh, rid of a lot of that waste that unneeded waste you don't understand how many people don't know that you should be going like two to three times a day to the bathroom like i told somebody i go like two to three times a day she's like two to three times per day i said absolutely and she was like I might go like once every few days. I say, baby girl, you are yep. definitely, you definitely need this tea. That is not anything to brag about. If you're only going once a day or once every few days, you are constipated. Mm -hmm. And all them toxins, all them toxins stays in your system. Women always ask me, how do I get flat abs and gut health? You know, you really need to clean out your system. Right. 
Absolutely. And when you don't, just think about when you're holding on to that stuff. Mm. When, when you have a leaky gut or a, a backup gut, that plays a lot in your energy levels. Yes, it does. It plays a lot into how yes, you does. sluggish. Think about what you ate the night before, what you drank, what or the lack thereof. Mm. Because you can't you you can't lose weight by starving yourself. That's the worst way to do that. Because yeah, starving yourself, you might not have as much weight, but the minute you decide to eat, you're gonna blow up. Like that's just because your body is holding on to the fat, right? Mm. So to survive. Yeah. So basically this tea is gonna get rid of the impurities that you have and it's infused with cassia, augustifolia. It's papaya extract, chamomile extract, and soluble fiber. And you know we all need fiber because that helps to, you know, get things moving along naturally. And it's designed to promote weight loss and it may also increase your energy. I know Annette told me when she first tried it, like I knew she didn't try it like when I first gave it to her because I did I heard crickets. You know what I'm saying? And I know Miss Annette is very expressive. So I heard cricket. So I was like, she probably ain't trying to see it. But baby, when she tried it, she mm -hmm. called me the next day and was like, girl, I, I, I need to get some more of that. Girl, I, I woke up this morning and I went to the bathroom and I was like, oh, and I was full of energy. I was like, man. And I had somebody else do the same thing. It was it was my assistant, mm -hmm. a young lady, um, Lanasia. And she called me. She was like, Chiquita, that tea really works. I woke up and I was like, oh, look at my head. So, I mean, if it can do that for somebody in one day, imagine mm -hmm. if you do that once a week, once you do your, you know, your first week of detox, and you eat like you said. Yes. Like, when I do my day of detox, um, like I take my Sunday night, and then I go a few times in the morning, and I get my workout in, and I'm good. And typically that day, I focus on getting a lot of greens in, a lot of fruit in, you know, a lot of whole grains in, oatmeal, mm -hmm. stuff like that. You want to keep your diet pretty clean, especially like right after you take it. Because I had somebody tell me, like, I, I get I get some of everything, so I have to share it. <laughs> I had somebody ask me, like, when I take the tea, am I supposed to take that, like, can I eat anything after I take it or should I take that after I'm done eating? I'm like, after you're done eating, she was like, cause man, when I woke, when up, I woke up, you know, you know my stomach was on food. I ate a bag of shit. Mm. 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 If you just drank a detox tea, mm. I'm trying to think. Detox, detox tea, tea. and you ate a bag of Cheetos and your body is in the process of trying to detox it, what you think gonna happen? So, you know, if your body is in that mode of detox, you don't want to go and eat nothing full of grease and nothing full of red sauce and all that because it's just going to upset your stomach. But not only that, the purpose, the purpose of it, and, you know, I'm, I'm happy that people want to be healthier and, and thinking about, you know, slim waist, healthy gut. But your purpose of taking a detox is not to constantly clean you out because you keep eating bad. You have right. to make that choice. Like, either you're going to live a healthier lifestyle or just don't do it. If you want to continue to eat bad, forget about the detox. Just keep eating the way you're eating. Don't use it as something that's going to keep eating bad. It, 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 it defeats the purpose. Right. Absolutely. And that's true. You really need to make a decision, like, if you're going to detox and, like, Cleanse, your, cleanse yourself mm -hmm. and not only does like it all the tea also has cinnamon in it which um helps to promote the it stimulates his hormones to help eliminate waste and it also is and, and it also has the, the papaya extract that i mentioned earlier is well known for its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory and immune stimulating properties Yes, and if you eat papaya alone, it helps. Hint, hint. Yep. So, you know, I just wanted to add this information for those who are like, you know, they want to try the tea, but they haven't tried it yet. Um, they want to know how you're supposed to use it, how you're supposed to make it, how you're supposed to mix it. That's how it's supposed to be done. So, on top of that, I have some a list of detox waters that I would like to share. Yes, infused waters. 
Yes, infused water is amazing. And I just want to share, like, there are a lot of health benefits to drinking detox water. And it's just infusing it with fruit and things of that nature. So I'm going to give you a few ones to try. So if you have a pen of paper or whatever, y'all might want to go ahead and jot these down. Girl, my, la my laptop, you hear that sound? Uh-huh. It's okay. It's all right. We we going hey, we going to get it. We're going to have it. it. Well, it's all right. But um, the health benefits of drinking. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought you said something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to move it for the sound. It's um, you know, listen. No, I'm not fine. as techie. I'm gonna get there though. I'm it's all right. There. It's all right. So the health benefits of drinking detox water, um, is you cleanse your liver. It removes toxins. Mm -hmm. you get clear skin. Weight loss, better digestion, and by digestion. It means moving things along. Like if you don't, if you don't have good digestion, you're not gonna go to the bathroom that often. Like that's what digestion is. Your your body needs to process the food that you eat. Mm. It doesn't want it holding on to it because that's food. Um, increased hydration. Mm. It improves your mood. Mm. It decreases risk of kidney stones. Improves energy levels and it balances your pH levels in your body. And those are all things that you want to have going on. It also aids in fat belly and it increases your metabolism. I mean, hey, hey, I know. Well, let me add. So, so when you mention about the pH, right? Uh huh. And of course, this is directed to women. So, some of us don't realize how important a pH balance is, right? One, it keeps your body in a certain state where it's 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 a challenge for diseases and sickness mm -hmm. to affect your body because your body's in the in the proper pH state. But in addition to that, as women, that that discharge, that odor that you have, your body is telling you something is off. off. That's that pH. Something is off. And I'm look. You know me, I'm from New York, I'm be candid, right? We working out, we around a lot of people that work out with us at the gym and the classes. Sis, sometimes I smell a woman, like, listen, something is off with your pH. So sis, you be trying to cover it up with perfumes or, or whatever, you need to eat right, get that pH in order, I'm telling you. Because if yeah. you could smell it, I guarantee your partner, he or she could smell it too. Yeah. I just I just needed to... And yeah, then, yeah, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's, I mean, that's something that needs to be said because a lot of times, like you say, when we are in the gym and we smell that, it's not easy for us to be able to let that person know, especially mm. if you don't know them like that. I know. I know. It's, it, and it's embarrassing and it's um, offensive. Yes. You, you, you know, you don't want to be offending people with your odor because you don't have proper care at home or proper diet. Right, pH balance because of something that you're doing that you could do better. And a lot of women just aren't educated, and, and that's why we like to come on here and help you guys out. Yeah, because it's not always your fault you don't know, but and people won't really tell you. Yeah, people won't. But listen, y'all better tell you. me, sister funky. I can't be cute and be a diva. I'm out there smelling. Somebody better be like, listen, girl, you better. Yeah, like, oh, come here, I got to get my yoni wash food. and be like. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. So, mm -hmm. I mean, and, and we, we were laughing and we're joking about it, but it is a serious thing. Like, it's not something, that's not a conversation that's easy to have. So it's important to, you know, be on top of that stuff. Because yeah. I know my nose, I have a very heightened sense of smell. And it's hard for me to hide my facial expressions when I smell something that's not pleasant. Mm. And I, there have been times when I'd be like, and then I try to cut it off, but it's too late. You know what I'm saying? So, and then and check yourself because the way I was raised, you should smell yourself before others do. Mm. Like I said, sis, you want to be you want to be clean for your partner. They don't for always yourself. say anything, but and for yourself, you know. You gotta you gotta pay attention to uh yourself and Miss Annette has this amazing client that, that comes to our events. Her name is um I'm so uh -oh. I just had it. 
Is it Cheryl? Cheryl. Cheryl. So Miss Cheryl, she's she being fabulous, okay? Yes. She is in her 60s and she said there's one thing that she said that really stood out and it made a lot of sense. Is that a lot of times as women we put band-aids on things. Yep. We notice things that are going on with our bodies that might be different. Yeah. So rather than us, you know, focusing in on that and trying to find out why it's different, we just put a band-aid on and be like, oh, it's just different this time. No. You need to pay attention to every like you should be so in tune with your body that you yep. know when it's out of whack. You know when something's off. You know that I did something different the reason my body is reacting this way. Like you need to mm -hmm. be that into your body. Like if you're in tune to your partner that way, you need to be in tune to yourself even more. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't pay more attention to somebody else than you do your own body. Right. Exactly. So when when you start feeling things that are different and off, you should start trying to find out why. Like what, what did I do? What did I do? Or what did I do? What did I do? What did I eat? Or is it my age that's causing these things? Mm. Like, you really gotta go to that because I know I'm getting closer to forty, and things on me are starting to change. Looking good, girl. Huh? <laughs> Looking good, girl. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, you know, I'm getting close to 40 and I'm noticing some differences in my body. Like one, it's harder for me. It takes me longer to recover. To recover whereas when I was younger and working out, yeah. I would snap back like that. Now I find myself being sore for longer. I have to take more Epsom salt baths, massage myself more, stretch more because I'm not as young as I once was. I have a lot of energy, yes, but I understand that I'm getting older and I have to do things differently. Just like when you get older, you cannot yep. eat the same way you did when you were in your teens. No if harm. I ate that crap that I ate when I was a teenager, I would be a blimp. Like there is no way I could eat that stuff and I would be sick all the time because that stuff was horrible. You know, in high school, you eat all the Debbie snack cakes and the chips and the, you know, you eat all that stuff because you can and it tastes right, good. Right. But as you age, one, your palate changes, two, your body changes, and three, mm. your metabolism and your digestion changes, and your body's not going to break that stuff down. And you're not as active as you were when you were a teenager. Yeah. No matter for me how to keep my active, energy, I got to eat right. Yep. Right. I ha and I have a lot of energy at my age. But although I have a lot of energy and I'm active, I'm still not as active as I was when I was like 15, 16, 17 years old. It's not mm -hmm. the energy is different. So um, that's just something I wanted to throw out there regarding, you know, paying attention to yourself. And so I'm just going to share about five. I have a whole list of them, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to share about five detox recipes that you can try and, and share the, the benefits of it all. So um, basically, the first one is a lemon cucumber detox water. That's the most common one. You know, the de this detox drink is delicious. It's a blend of lemons, water, and cucumber slices. And it's very easy to make and it's refreshing. All you do is add lemon, add the cucumber slice to the water and let it set to maximize the nutrients into the water. If you want, you can skip the cucumber and just use lemon. I love lemon. But you would be missing out on the benefits of cucumber. And make sure when you put the cucumbers in that you put your skin on. Don't cut the skin off. There are, it's, a lot of the benefits in an infusing fruit is the skin. So you want to make sure that, you know, the cucumbers, you add the cucumbers to the fruit because it has fiber in it. it is so you, that also helps the digestion plus the digestion of the body. So you want to, so that's the one. Um, another one is apple cider vinegar. A lot of people do that one. They'll add like a little bit of apple cider, uh, vinegar, uh, vinegar, lemon, lemon and water. So that's a good you know that one I could only drink warm because it's too strong for me. Well, well yeah, the apple yeah. cider. Yeah, I could only. And some yeah, people like to like add a, tea, a little uh -huh. honey or something into it. Yeah. yeah. Another one is um. Hold on. Another fruit infused one. Is 
Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. <laughs> the berry lemonade. Now, this is not a traditional lemonade. It ain't, we don't have all the sugar and all the stuff in it. All it is, is a few drops of mint, the spring mint, which is an appetite suppressant, and the blueberries and water. Mm. And a lot of people don't know, like, mint has a lot of health benefits. Like, it helps with um, cramping, menstrual cramping. Mm -hmm. It helps mm -hmm. with nausea. And it also acts as an appetite suppressant. I don't know if you mm. ever got hungry and you didn't have access to food and you just popped the peppermint in your mouth. Have you noticed that your appetite kind of fades a little bit? Have you ever tried that? No, but I better get a bunch of peppermints so I could. <laughs> you don't be hungry like that. I'm trying to say. <laughs> you don't be hungry like that. Another Look, I'm one a food that I eat more than people realize. Oh, well, I guess. Another um, detox drink is the berry lemonade. I, I meant the apple, lemon, mint. Apple, lemon, and mint. And remember with apple, all lemon, and mint. Yep. So remember with all of the fruit, you want to make sure that you keep the skin on. So the like we mentioned before, lemon is a detox. And um, the peels of the lemon is a natural enzyme. That's why I like to use um, lemon as well, lemon water, and drink it like all throughout the day. Because mm -hmm. Sign, which helps to break down your food and help the flush to toxins in the bot in your body and then you also add the apple and then bam there you go and you let it set for a little bit and then mix it up and drink it they also have these infusion bottles um oh yeah know, yeah where you can put just put the fruit in there and infuse it so another good one that you know is great and what i know is citrus Citrusy fruits have a lot of benefits with the peel. So orange, lemon, and lime. Mm -hmm. That those three citrus food fruits. I can't talk today, Lord. Those three citrus fruits. Maybe that's just a tongue twister. <laughs> work very well together um, to cleanse your body. All three are rich in D limonene, and that's spelled D L I M O N E N E. In case you want to Google what that means. Um, and it has been shown to have anti cancer effects and it helps to soothe heartburn and acid reflux. So I know a lot of people get heartburn with certain foods that they eat. Mm -hmm. and like that. Spicy. Yeah. Yes. This trio of citrus fruits will help with that as well as acid reflux. And it helps to clear up any ir irregularity that you have. I don't know why my tongue is so twisted today. <laughs> So like maybe I just need to talk slower because my tongue is just twisted for some reason. You're, but you're fine too, huh? Is it? Do you? Can you somehow post the link of where you got the resources? Where they can find some? Yeah, I can. I can do that. Should be good. I'll post that in the in the uh, in the caption. Okay. Caption. Yeah. So, and it, I mean, it's a whole bunch more. It's a whole bunch more, but I just wanted to share like five of them. So what you think? What do you drink for detox water? My per my my preference is lemon. What about you? Well, well, with me, I love um <clears throat> like the lemon, cucumbers. I like my water to feel to taste very fresh. But the truth is, I ju I just drink I just drink water. I just drink water too. But it's just something my lemon water. Like when I drink it, I get excited. I'm like, oh, that's good. Cause what I do, I don't just. <laughs> I don't just drop the lemon in there. I actually squeeze the lemon. Mm -hmm, get all I the... squeeze the lemon. I cut the lemon, take the seeds out, squeeze the lemon juice in there, and then drop it in. Girl, I'd be like, this is some good water right here. And then I like if to drink it warm. No, no. I make like the natural. You know what I do? This I make sometimes my own tea, and I'll do uh, a little honey, um, lemon, and I'll grind the ginger and put it in mm -hmm. my tea and that'll be like You'll my water ginger. or whatever mm -hmm. nice lemon nice. ginger so we've already covered um about your gut we talked about teas we talked about some detox waters you can try we talked about how you know basically if you don't detox properly you can be throwing off your ph balance and don't even know it 
you know, and we also talked about how uh, watching your nutrition, like don't just have the detox and then use it as an excuse to eat bad again. Right. Because, oh, so right. Detox. Like you're defeating the purpose. It's just like break. It's like putting a bandaid on, peeling the scab to put the bandaid back on. Mm. That doesn't make just that doesn't make sense to me. Um. Yes, so, y'all need apple cider. Yeah, I was gonna say yes. <laughs> I'm yes. sorry, I was reading a comment. Mm -hmm. No, I saw that too. I saw it pop up too. But now since we're talking about pH, mm -hmm. well, can I can I just share this other thing? So um the reason we talk about detox, which is so important, one is is definitely to clean your system out of those toxins that sit there because yeah, our body may release, but sometimes it don't release it all. And you'll be surprised. I've had people take like the detox tea or whatever detox they take. And they'll come to me and be like, oh, I lost like two, three pounds. And the truth is all of that is garbage. Just sitting on the lining of your stomach, sitting inside your system that you're releasing. So some of us are walking around with a couple of pounds of garbage in our system and wonder why we're sluggish, wonder why we're tired. So it, it is important to do like a, a, a checkup every so often. Make sure you go to the doctor, make sure everything is good, but clean out your system. I'm telling you, what a difference. Yep, it definitely makes a difference. So now we're gonna talk about the proper way to wash your the JJ and your vulva. And the, the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna use frequently asked questions because I get a lot of questions. I'm sure Annette gets a lot of questions. Uh -huh. But people ask, like, in detail, like, how they're supposed to take care of their JJ, and that's fine. Like, women were supposed to talk about that stuff. And I went ahead and, you know, took the liberty of bringing the Yoni wash that I make. Which I love. Mm. Yeah, I, I just My use the well, like peaches and berries. <laughs> <laughs> peaches and, and berries. berries. It's very natural. Um, it only ha it has apple cider vinegar, aloe, water, and tea tree oil. And um, I'm telling you, the tea tree oil helps to get your candida to be healthy. Mm. And it's a, also an antibacterial agent. You know, apple cider vinegar has a lot of great benefits as well. And mm -hmm. aloe helps to clean the area. I also have apricot oil in there. That's what's the oil. Because mm. not only do you want it to be clean, you want it to be moisturized. It's nothing like having a dry a JJ, a dry vulva. Uh -huh. And this is for your vulva only. And if you aren't, if you don't know the difference between the two, I'm going to explain that. But this is for the vulva only. It's not for the JJ. The JJ is internal. The vulva is external. Just so you know. So, and coach, and coach, uh, Chiquita, so so why not uh, the vagina? Why not internal? Because it's self cleansing. Mm -hmm. Your body cleans itself. That's why you have your cycle every month, because your body is cleaning itself naturally. It's a natural cleansing. My body's an amazing machine. Mm -hmm. It is an amazing machine. You can give birth out of it. <laughs> mm. It cleans itself. It does mm. a lot of amazing things. Just saying. So um, there's no need, like I've had people say, well, how do I use this drop it on the inside? Absolutely not. It does not go on the inside. It's for external use only, the outside. And I'm going to break it down in a bit. But before I do, I wanted to just really give a short, um, I don't remember the word I was about to say, but a short demonstration on how to use this. Now, since I don't have water with me right now, I just brought a napkin. But basically all you do is, if you're in the shower, you're already wet, your hands are already wet. wet. So you shake it up. You always shake it first because you want everything to be blended together. And then you open it. It's a little open thing here. I had somebody ask me, I can't open it. It's like, I get these questions I get. I can't open it, why can't I, why, why isn't the soap coming out? Because you gotta, you gotta open it. <laughs> so you turn it to open it. I'm, I'm just saying, these are questions that I get. You do that, you shake it up, and you pump it. Like so. I can't do it with one hand, clearly. I'm trying to do it. There you go. Like so. You see that? And it comes out 
a nice foam, right? It comes out. And all you do is me personally, I'll pump it into my hand like so, and I'm gonna stand up so I can show you. So you put it on your hands, you're not gonna see my face, you just gonna see this area. You put it on your hands and you wash. Get the, get the butt crack. Oh yeah, that butt crack needs, mm. Get it get in between here, get in between mm. here, and in the back. None of that is internal, all of that is external. And then you rinse off. Now, if you decide that you want to do it as a, a quick shower or a quick bath, like in the sink, just like freshening up, maybe after the gym, you don't have time to shower, but you need to change clothes and you need to freshen up. Mm -hmm. the, the main thing you want to make sure you freshen up is your JJ area and your underarms. Absolutely. I was going to say that I use it under my underarms at the gym. You do? Too. Yeah, because <laughs> I've been teaching right. like three classes back to back. And, you know, people, you know, I'll be hugging everybody. They be on me, right? So I make sure in between class, like, I freshen up because I know, you know, people close to me. And I want to feel comfortable to be like, hey. Yeah. Yeah, I use it under my arms, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone says, um, hey, cutie. So I said, hey, back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, <laughs> but, yeah, so that's how you use this it does not go inside at all um i mean other I things use... go inside but not that no 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 and if and when i rub it together it's like it it eventually it's like a it's not super soapy you know what i'm saying no it's because not it's really, a nice light yeah feel like a, a nice light clean foam right no after residue mm -mm. nothing nope not sticky and, Mm -hmm. Ooh, my hands smell good now. <laughs> smell, smell, smell like your JJ, right? <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, if you want to freshen up, like after the gym or whatever like that, mm -hmm. you know, you just, you wet your hands first, of course, mm -hmm. and then you pump it in your hands and wash. And the reason I say hands, I don't prefer to use a cloth of any sort because I don't like any type of abrasions down there. There's no need to exfoliate down there. Like it's a very sensitive area and very gentle and what more gentle thing to use than your hands. Your hands should be soft anyway. And mm -hmm. you just, I mean, it's yours. It's it's yours. So explore that use body, it. I, explore it and take care of it. Yeah. You, I've, want I've somebody read. Else to, you want somebody else to caress it and what have you learn what your body needs and want and how it likes to be touched and clean. Right. Because I, I mean, uh, I know a lot of people have like different traumas and triggers and things that they may have experienced or the way that they were raised or whatever. And I've had, I've read some comments from some females that say, I, I absolutely will not wash with my hands down there. And I'm like, why not? It's yours. Right. Like, why are we right. ashamed of our bodies? Like, this is a blessing. God blessed us with this body and to be able to do the things that it does. That's a blessing that nobody can take away. So, I mean, if you wash yourself down there, it's yours. You wash your face, what's the difference? It's just in a different area of your body. It's still your body. So, and, and, you know, and wait, and you touch other things and other people. So what, why not? Exactly. exactly. And real so, quick, just a side note on that, right? Because I also grew up where, even though my mom was outgoing and she did share a lot with me, it was still certain things seemed like a little tabooish. You know, yep. and yep. not until I moved to Florida around these confident women, women who like uplift each other and just spoke about things. And I was like, wow, so that, that's what y'all do. That's what I need to do. And it wasn't until then that I really started exploring my body, understanding what I need and what's important to me. And that self-care, that cleansing, because, oh, wait, side note, you know, back in the days, our mama had them. What's them bags they used them to have? Douche bags on the back of the door. Them douche. The douche bags. <laughs> yep. douche bag. And not and not till we get older, we like you. You shouldn't be doing that. Like you, you're not. You're not supposed to be doing that. But anyway, I I understand what you're saying because certain things for me was a tab or just not really educated on. Mm -hmm. And now when I get around like women like you and other women that it's it's like eye opening like what i really should be taking care of my body this way oh i really should be doing this and right. and it's comforting because it makes me feel a little more comfortable a little more free even when i'm around other people 
Exactly. Oh, and I just want to throw this out there that if you don't get a chance to watch this as it's live and you watch it on replay, just hashtag replay. Please comment, please engage, please let us know what you think about what we're talking about. If you feel like what we're sharing is beneficial, and if have you any have any chimes in, chiming in questions, like don't just leave us here to talk to the screen because <laughs> we went live for a reason we went live so that we can engage with you guys we may not be able to see you but we can see your comments we see that you're on the live so comment let us know what you think let us know if you're learning from what we're sharing if you want more like that's the only way you really know how to you know provide y'all with the information that you desire the things that we come talk to you about are things that people ask us all the time so we just try to reach everyone at one time by you know talking about it so um, now I'm going to dive into a few questions that people ask me. Um, and we've already covered a few of the answers, but like, do you really need to wash your vagina? I already explained in the beginning that there's a difference between the vagina and the vajayjay. I meant the, the vulva. The vajayjay and the vulva. So to answer the question about wash your vagina, no, because we already established that we don't need to be using beaches and things inside. And um, a lot of times we are made to feel ashamed about how we smell, but like we mentioned already, if you eat properly and you have proper hygiene, you shower regularly, you change your panties when you stood, you shower after you work out, don't sit and sweat for an hour. Mm. And if you can't shower right away, at least get out of your wet clothes. Like these are just like small, easy, simple things that you can do to have the clean and JJ because it's a JJ. It's not roses and berries. It shouldn't smell like candy and it shouldn't smell like fish. Fish is not pleasant. Candy is too pleasant and it probably means that you're using colognes and perfumes down there and some mm. fish is washed down there and you're just irritating it. Mm. It's supposed to smell like a JJ because that's what it is. A vajayjay is a vajayjay is a vajayjay. So let's recap some basic anatomy again. The vagina is the inner canal inside of your body. We established that, right? No douches. No douche bags. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes, and the term vulva refers to the outer parts around the vagina, such as the clitoris, the clitoral hood, and the inner and outer labia, which is the lips. Clean that hood, girl. Clean that hood. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Please clean it. Please clean it. I mean, think of it like the like we say clean you clean the hood. Let's think about a man, right? An uncircumcised man. I'll just say that. Mm. An uncircumcised man, right? If he doesn't pull that skin back and wash that area, mm -hmm. it's gonna have to all types of germs and things of that nature. So the hood, the 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 clitoral hood is mm -hmm. covered like that. So you need to move it and wash it. It needs to be cleaned properly. Even if you got to get a Q-tip and get some water and like mm -hmm. that. And th this is real, this is real stuff. And I feel kind of weird because I feel like I'm just looking at the computer and nobody's engaging, but it's all right. We just gonna say y'all gonna engage later. <laughs> but we just hope that what we're sharing is, is benefiting you guys. Um, so while you shouldn't wash the inside of your vagina, it is a good idea to wash the vulva. So um, if you wash the vagina, the inside, it can lead to, it's all right, right? <laughs> it can lead to a lot of problems. You might have heard of, like we mentioned earlier, that the vagina is so clean, and it's a pretty accurate metaphor. It's all right. You keep making that face. You're going to be hilarious. Loud to me. Like, I can hear the sound, it's, and I'm trying to keep it's them okay. separate. But <laughs> you, you like me. You can't hide your facial expression. you like... I know, right? Like, what is <laughs> The sound. Yeah, so your vagina contains a lot of good bacteria. Um. So if you, you know, do this internal vaginal cleanse, you could be cleaning out the good with the bad, and that just opens you up for more infection, and you don't want that. You better be good. I'm good. I, st I still see that face. I'm All right. I, so, I, I, I'm focused. I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> so I'm another, 
Uh, we already went over how to wash your bowl, but that's another question um, that we uh, that I get a lot. And if you have other questions outside of what I'm asked or mentioning, feel free to chime in. Mm -hmm. But we've already covered like how to properly wash it. And then people for some reason feel like they need to use soap. And I tell them, no, you do not need to use soap. If you want to use soap, you can use something that's unscented, mild, and cleanless. And, the, and you don't even need a whole lot, just two pumps and that's all you need. It doesn't matter how big or small you are, your JJ is... You how know, big? <laughs> how big or small, I'm saying you are inside your frame, not your JJ. not talking about that. Oh, okay. No, I meant your frame. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter how big you are, how small you are, uh -huh. you know, you don't need a whole lot to wash down there. Um, and... People have asked, well, what about the feminine wash sprays that they sell at the store? Well, most supermarkets have a range of feminine washes and sprays that are said to reduce odor and clean the vagina. Mm. And they're not because natural. Like a lot of them are not. They're not. They have a whole bunch of ingredients on there that you can't even pronounce. And if it has a scent smell on there, like you really shouldn't be buying it. Because your your vagina doesn't need any of these items to be clean, and it doesn't need to smell like a rose garden, like it mm -hmm. doesn't. And these products were probably created to prey on people's insecurities regarding their bodily odors, which I mentioned earlier about you know if you have a good hygiene and you clean yourself properly and bathe after you sweat type of thing, you won't have to be concerned about your odor. And if you eat mm -hmm. the right food, because Miss Annette said something Saturday. She was like, listen, one time we went to eat some snapper. Like, you are what you eat, literally. It comes out of your pores. And if you eat something that doesn't agree with your body's pH, it's not going to smell good coming out. And I will tell you, my last competition, my coach put me on this supplement called uh, Slow Niacin or something, which is supposed to help with um, circulation. Because, you know, I work a lot, work out a lot of things like that, and it's supposed to help with circulation. When I tell you, my body did not like that stuff. Oh, wow. Because of all the vitamins I take, when I took that, I smelled like another person. And my boyfriend <laughs> was like, he was like, did you just eat fish or something? Like, he would ask me that. When he would, and I'm like, no, why are you asking that I eat? Wow. He was like, it's like when I hug you, I smell it. Like it was, it would come out of my pores. And he was like, mm -mm. he was like, and, and what he's, and one thing he said was, if I would have met you and that, and you had that smell, not knowing that it was a supplement causing that smell. Wow. He probably would have been like, mm -mm, I can't do this. So that, I said that to let you know that what you put in your body, it doesn't matter if it's food, yeah. it doesn't matter if it's a supplement. If, if, if your body don't agree with that, it's going to come out and it's not going to smell right. And he knew when I got off of it, he said, you're not on that, that, that supplement no more. I said, no, I stopped taking it. My competition is over. He was like, ooh, I'd be glad when this competition is over. He's like, you can go that way. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have to find something else, sis. Yeah, uh, I'm like, i got to find something else to help with my circulation because that one is not it. I even I even mm. tried doing a lower dosage of it because they have them in different dosing. Mm. And I tried a lower dosage, same thing. I was like, nope, it's, the, it's mm -hmm. that supplement. I don't know. It's like a vitamin B of some sort. It's not B12 because B12 doesn't do that to me. But that one, mm-mm. Wow. So I was, so, you know, and I just said all that to say, um, hey, Anthony, I hope you chime in and, and, and talk to us a little bit. <laughs> but um, basically, you know, I shared that to let you guys know that what you eat will come out. Mm -hmm. it will and like I said out. real quick before, even regards to women, like I, my, my bougie behind be, be loving my Starbucks at times, right? paying four or five dollars for some coffee I can make at home. But <laughs> even you mentioned you mentioned I do something too, so once I be... switched once I switched out from dairy, right? When I, the closer I got to 50, I started changing how I eat because I could tell how my body was functioning. But once I switched out from doing a lot of dairy, I noticed like I had less discharge and things like that. I really didn't have much before, but I just really noticed like wow, my body don't really like dairy. 
Well, I was still getting certain drinks from Starbucks. And after I drink it, I'm like, where's this discharge coming from? Come to find out is although I wasn't putting cow's milk into my coffee or, or tea or whatever, the ingredients in the actual like white hot chocolate mocha mm-hmm. has dairy in it. Yep. So here yep. I am drinking, 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 thinking I'm dairy free. And my body's like, nah, sis, something mm-hmm. is in there that's not working for you. So I switched a lot of it out. I still go to Starbucks, but I just get like a, a latte of some sort with oat milk and vanilla, and I'm good. Let All me tell you, I still get the white mocha. I still get the white mocha, but I get it with oat milk instead of that creamer. Because right. like you said, that creamer has dairy in it. And with you, right. you get No, it's that the white chocolate mocha has dairy. That's what I'm saying. The white chocolate yeah. mocha has dairy in it. So right. I tell them I want my mocha made like the white chocolate mocha, but with oat milk. Mm-hmm. So they substitute that out. And with you, you get the discharge. With me, I get the phlegm. Like mm. I, I always tell, because I have asthma. Mm. And and if I have something with dairy in it, it's like I feel it all in here and I sw- I can't I can't swallow properly. It affects mm. my breathing. So I'm we like, don't want to mess with our swallowing. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that. <laughs> and it, it has a lot of um, mm-hmm. mucus. It's the mucus inside of it. That's why they were like, no, it, anything, anytime you, like if you really pay attention and people that say, you know, don't drink this prior to this. Don't eat that prior to that. Mm. That's probably, it's probably not good for you overall. But people mm-hmm. just say, make sure if you're going to do it, don't do it before this. People, singers, don't drink milk before you sing because you're mm. going to you have all this phlegm coming up. you trying to sing and it's just mm. not going to be right. Don't drink alcohol before a tattoo because it's a blood thing. Right. And you don't want, so, you know, pay attention to those alerts. Like, don't do this before that. It's probably overall not good for you. Mm. So back to the cleaning talk. Um, as far as scented product, if you're wondering if it's a no-go, yes. You should avoid scented vaginal cleaning products, whether it's soaps, washes, sprays, all of that can irritate. Like, I'm all, I'm often com- confused by the sprays that say spray into your panty or your panty liner, because think about when you put your panties on, it's, it's put, you're putting it right on mm. to the vulva, and that irritates it. I'm like, why would it? Why would? Why would a manufacturer say spray this in your panties or spray this and put? No, that's that's you don't do that. Because the main thing, because for them, it's it's not about really health and self care. It's about masking yep, and masking. Odor or smell and i say mm-hmm. well go to the root cause for one and two you want to be careful like you said don't put all that stuff down there right and if you think oh well there's going to be an odor well and and everybody else might smell it they probably probably not unless it's like we said a fishy smell or unpleasant you know like mm-hmm. that but it just might smell like a vagina and that's okay a vagina mm. is a vagina is a vagina. As long as it don't smell like fish, mm. it shouldn't smell like roses and berries and flowers. Well, okay. mine do. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say they each his own, okay? Right. Okay, because right. I, I, right. I I eat like berries and, and yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah, and pineapples. <laughs> we Pine- talked about that on our last live. Yeah. It's unlikely that, but it's unlikely that someone else will be able to smell if your your vagina smells normal. And I mean, your sex partner will smell it. And however you smell, they'll, um, if they don't tell you verbally, their body language will tell you. Mm. Their body language will tell you, their facial expressions will tell you, it'll tell you. Thank you, Anthony. Oh, you're welcome. He said good information. Thanks, Anthony. So no vagina is odorless and nor should they be odorless. Um, you know, most times if it does have a smell, it might be coppery because of, you know, the cycle or whatever, or it might be sweet. And we want to aim for sweet. What happened? Oh, the hour live, girl. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we'll be back next week. We'll cut it short. Oh, of course, of course. 
But um, next week, what I, I didn't get to touch on today because we wanted to make sure we got the vulva and vagina and detox, all that, is mm-hmm. libido. Healthy libido. Yes. Oh, my top, yes. Ooh. But this was awesome. Like, you know, I had a great time being on here with you guys. It's always great coming on 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 Mondays. I almost said Wednesday. <laughs> I'm trying to push the week by. Um, it always feels good coming on on uh, on Mondays and talking to you guys and giving you guys pointers. So, again, let us know if there's anything else you want to talk about. And mm-hmm. um, otherwise, next week we're gonna be talking about the female libido. <laughs> And yes, remember, and you can touch it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was no, gonna say, go if you can put the link for the re- the the water. Oh, the detox. And plus, if anybody's interested in the yoni wash and the detox tea, of you put a link I will definitely put that in the um, comment section. How you can get some detox teas? Um, actually, the easy way to get it is just message us, and you know we can send you if you know. Annette, message her, find out her way of getting those to you. Message Mm -hmm. me, I'll send you um, the details I need to send you an invoice to get these to you. That's the easiest way. Um, And I will make sure that we continue to provide y'all good information. But until next time, make sure you comment, like, share, and have a marvelous Monday. Bye. Nicole and Miss Annette is Right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>